Drive starts at the one and looking for a little breathing room and they get that and plenty more. Derrick Henry still going. Stays in bounds. He might go. 99 yards for the touchdown. Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly. I am your favorite Titans analyst, Lorenzo the Hawk. So, so Derek, you just gonna just run over everybody around here, bro? Is that what we doing? Producers, cut, cut. Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast. I am your favorite Tennessee Titans analyst, Lorenzo the Hawk. This time I'm not going to get tackled. Derrick Henry, he's already gone home. My jersey's kind of clean still, so I'm good. So welcome to the show, folks. Great job by the Tennessee Titans on Thursday Night Football. Great job to Derrick Henry. Again, we won the ball game 30-9. In a beatdown on the Jacksonville No Swag Wars. Awesome job by the Tennessee Titans, man. Look, we own the Jags. Now, it's funny how the Jags own the Colts, and the Colts own us, and we own the Jags. That's another story. But I'm very proud of these guys, man. They came out, man. They came out swinging, man. Derrick Henry came out fighting. Overall, in the passing game, we didn't really have to pass the ball this game. I thought the passing game was still a little bit off, but you expect that against Jacksonville's defense. But, man, hey, we ran right through them, man. Derrick Henry with a great run. All day long, that's all the nation has been talking about is the run. I was at the game. Uh, it's probably the best play I've ever seen at the Titan Stadium. I wasn't there during the Music City Miracle, but I've been to a lot of games, and that's the best play that I've seen in person there at Titan Stadium. So awesome job to Derrick Henry. Awesome job to the Tennessee Titans offensive line. They've made a shakeup. Now it's come to fruition. He's doing a great job, man. Again, I've been saying it all season. Run Derrick Henry. He is a volume runner. You can't run him five times and put him on a bench. He's got to keep running because once he gets beyond the linebacker level, it's over. It's a touchdown. It's a guaranteed touchdown. He's 6'3". He's 250 pounds. Counted as a touchdown. And he showed that with an unbelievable game, man. Look, this guy had 238 yards rushing on 17 carries. That's high school football stuff. And four touchdowns. He did his thing, man. Hey, you deserve all the kudos, man. Awesome job to Derrick Henry. As you all know, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they talk their trash, man. They really do. And all season long, you know, that's just what, you know, they've been promising this. We're going to go to the Super Bowl here. We're going to be undefeated when the season started and all that. Hey, Jacksonville, it's been real, homie. We'll holler at you. Meanwhile, what was going on after that last play? Lewan came up to Duval. Yeah, right. Do not. Right. So we did a great job in embarrassing the Jags. I mean, it is what it is, man. Again, Derrick Henry, as the NFL says, have a day. I'm probably the only person in America that had Derrick Henry starting on his fantasy football team. He gave me 47 points. In the playoffs. Appreciate it, bro. Peace. All right, so for the Titans, of course, Derrick Henry, man. Of course. Of course. He's the man of the hour right now. Of course, you know, the offensive line blocked incredibly versus the Jags front four. We did an awesome job in blocking downfield as well with receivers helping to block on the big run and on other runs as well. Awesome job to the offensive line. Awesome job to Derrick Henry. Now, this is a play that's going to follow Derrick Henry for the rest of his career. It actually might help him to be like a popular player, kind of like, say, Odell Beckham with his catch. People didn't really talk much about him. Now they know about him because of the catch. Even Marshawn Lynch uh, going beast mode against the Saints. Sometimes it can take one play to define you as a player to where you're known for that forever. I mean, Think of A.J. Boye when he walks up to somebody now. People are going to look like, yeah, man, you're a good corner, but, hey, I remember you got stiff-armed by Derrick Henry. Think of Derrick Henry maybe running into Jacksonville in his hometown, walking up on A.J. Boye and the other players um, that got stiff-armed. He'd be like, hey, bro, what's up, man? Hey, you remember that 10 years ago, right? Yeah, 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 right? 
That happens. So, good job there to our offensive line. Great job to Derrick Henry. Next, the play of our DBs. We did an awesome job on their uh, receivers. Uh, Diddy Westbrook had the best game of the receivers. He had seven catches for 88 yards and the one touchdown that was very questionable. But I guess he got his feet down. He scored the touchdown. But overall, man, the passing game was non-existent. Um, again, they had their backup quarterback in Cody Kessler. Uh, Cody Kessler threw the ball for 40. He threw it 43 times. And had one touchdown. But overall, they didn't go, wow, 240 yards passing? We'll take that. So our DBs did a very good job in keeping them contained. There was a few catches, but they kept them cool. Though Jacksonville doesn't have a lot of talent in the passing game, we still did a very good job overall in pass defense. So good job there. Last, our pass rush. We did a really good job in pass rushing uh, during the game. Um, we got four sacks uh, during the game. Uh, again, Jarrell Casey led us in sacks overall. He played a great game. But we had a lot of quarterback pressures. When you look at Cody Kessler, he threw the ball 43 times, but he only completed 25. So, again, that's in the 52, 53% range. So, when you look at it again, man, we did a very good job in pressuring the quarterback and making him make some really bad decisions. We also did a good job even on the run defense. Uh, Leonard Fournette couldn't get going at all. Leonard Fournette is a beast of a running back, and he looked like the feast during the Tennessee Titans game. So, good job to our defense. The negatives. Special teams. Two weeks in a row, we stunk. We stunk against the Jets and the Jags. We had a muff pump by Cameron Batson, which caused us to, uh, to get a safety. Terrible job in making that decision. We had a, a missed point after by Ryan Sucker. Good thing that didn't cost us the game. And even a Dory Jackson. Uh, he, he didn't do well last game. In this game, he actually had one punt. He just let go, and it was a terrible decision. Hey, Adore, bro, you have speed. You have blockers. Catch the ball, make something happen. All right? Special teams for two weeks in a row has stunk. That's when you got to start looking at the coach like, hey, bro, dude, hey, I'm Mike Vrabel. I'm the head coach. You need to do what you need to do, all right? Because we're stinking out there on special teams. Next, Marcus Mariota and his interception. You can about guarantee a game he's going to throw a pick. And when the pick happens, they are dumb interceptions. Marcus Mariota, you have to improve in your business decisions on throwing the football. It's awful. Next, injuries. So, John o. Smith, who was really playing well, he got hurt, hurt his MCL. He's out for the season. Uh, Jack Conklin, he's going to be out for a few weeks as well with an injury as well. And Brian Arakpo got hurt. I'm not sure how he's going to be out. Uh, but, again, we had a lot of injuries. So, um, that's definitely a negative. Hopefully, some of them guys can come back sooner than later. Uh, the big injury, I think, to John o. Smith, he's going to be out for the season. I'm here at the Titans-Jags game. We're winning the ball game 30-9. As I've been saying all season, man, Derrick Henry, run the young man. He didn't win the Heisman for no reason, man. That ball can ball. Run him. They're making Jacksonville look like Garbageville right now. for the rest of the season. Hopefully we can win them all and get a good chance to make the playoffs. As I say here, Hawk side, Hawk side, the Hawk side, the Hawk side, I see you. All right, so one thing you might not know about this game, man, I'm going to play a clip of the actual footage when Derrick Henry was talking with Coach Vrabel as to what happened. All right, goal line offense. Let's go, Derrick Henry. Get on the field. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, coach, I'm good, player. All season, third and one and fourth and one. You want to put 5'8", 180, Deion Lewis on the field, even run Luke Stalker one game, man. I'm good, man. Let the world see what they can do without me this time, coach. Let's do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Nah, man, we need you out there now. Let's go. I mean, we really need you right now. We need you. We're sorry. We're sorry we didn't use you right, man. We're sorry. All right, coach, man. Whatever, man. Now, on the clip. You see, I think Derrick Henry was trying to be slick, man. He's like, look, man, all season long, third and one, fourth and one, you guys want to run Deion Lewis. You want to run Luke Stalker. But then when I do run, I'm always successful. For them, about 95% of the time, Derrick Henry gets the first down. So he's like, you know what, man? I'm going to show the world something, right? I've been balling all game. This time I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to make the call this time, coach. Put him in the game. Let's see what he do now. Let's see what happens. And what happens? First two plays, Deion Lewis is on his back, right? Then they put Derrick Henry back in the game. Now, I'm not saying that's the case. 
Because I think Derrick Henry, that's not his personality. That's not who he is. But we all are human beings. And he does know. He's a bit on the sideline like, I cannot believe I'm 6'3", 250, fourth and one, and you run a tight end dive. Or you run a 5'8", 180-pound running back, and I'm over here drinking water. So just a different perspective. That's all. I ain't going to say that's the case. Just letting you know. All right, next. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? All right, so let's look at this interception by Marcus Mariota. Now, on the interception, as you can see, man, again, he is guaranteed one interception per game. It's not like an interception that's, you know, in coverage. They're just dumb interceptions. Marcus Mariota, bro, come on now. We want to sign you to a contract, bro. We really do, man. But you cause us to be scared at times with those picks. Make better decisions, Mariota. So, next what we're going to do now, we're going to go over the lockdown corner with my boy, my co-analyst, Jacques the Lockdown. And we're going to get that going right now. Jock Hulk. Jock Hulk. All right. So we're here now with my co-analyst, Jock the Lockdown Corner. He's going to give you his breakdown upon the Tennessee Titans beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. First, I want to say it's been a minute, my brother. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Man, so when I say this is the Henry Bowl, man, this is the Henry Bowl, <laughs> and I love it. Yes, sir. I was at the game, and I just to see it in person, man, they had a stadium, the energy, uh, Henry, Henry. It, it was awesome, bro. It was. And, and it, it was amazing. Henry. Um, first and foremost, I want to say special team. This is the second week in a row. You, you, you elaborated on this, man. We yes, have to get it together on special team. We were doing strong. We were strong. We were doing good. We were that was one of the strongest points of the team. Now we've kind of regressed a little bit. Yep. I think we will get back on the, 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 the track at least these next three games. So I think we'll be fine. Um Batson, man, that could have been a game breaker, dude. Could have been. That could have been a could have been a game breaker. Yep. Um Mariota, we have to accept the fact that he's gonna throw an interception every game. Yes, sir. That's just what we have to deal with. I mean he 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 does good and you gotta take the bad with the good. And the bad, you you know who and I'm not comparing him people, so don't come at my throat. Brett Favre was a gunslinger. Yep. Mariota is a gunslinger, okay? He rolled out and threw it, and I was like, okay, what type of decision are you making? But he needs to get better with his decision, decision making. But once he does that, hey, we're fine. Um, John New Smith, man, that, 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 that hurt. That hurt. Um, the boy was coming on. Absolutely. Um, and and it, it, it's, 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 it's an unfortunate event that when you have an MCL, ACL tear, and, and, and you're done for the season, it can also sometimes change your career. It sure can. So it, it's, it's one of the things that I, I, I would, hey, get well soon, man. We need you. Um, we're down to what <laughs> our last two tight ends. Yep. I mean, we're getting thin in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the herd, man. Um, um, Fitcher, the tight end from Harlem, man, that, that dude can catch, man. He sure he can catches, catch everything. catches everything that comes his way. So I, I like it, man. Um, defensively, Malcolm Butler. Buddy, you had a uh, you having decent games now, man. You in position. Absolutely. That's all I ask for you to do is be in position. He was in position. He was. My creep did catch a couple of balls on him, but still, he was in position. Adoree Jackson, bro, you are a punt returner, bro. You did what I seen you do in USC. It was remarkable, remarkable. And you're running away from the ball like it's on fire. We have to stop, dude. We have to stop. Um, and I and I probably know why. He had the concussion. Mentally, as a football player, you know I played, you played. Absolutely. When you have an injury like that, it messes with your psyche. And I think right now Jackson Jackson is going through a funk. It's messing with him psyche. Welcome to the NFL. That's right. That's <laughs> because right. you didn't get hit like you did in the college, like you're going to get hit in the NFL. But the, 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 the main event is the Henry, man, dude. Four touchdowns. 200 some yards. He broke CJ 2Ks. He uh, sure record, did. Man. Sure did, sure did, man. Sure did. 99 sure did. yards, man. He, second, what? Second, that's the guy stopped. Second all-time of a 99-yard run. Yep. It was amazing. I loved it. I, and like I said, the energy. The, the first touchdown he got. The second touchdown. The third touchdown. The fourth touch. This is what we've been missing all season. Absolutely. Really, LaFleur? Absolutely. Really, LaFleur? Dude, he's, he got 722 yards, huh? Absolutely, man. 722 yards. So this is what we're missing. And you didn't put him in the game. Or, or Imagine what he could have did 
early in the season. Yeah, yeah. Um, just imagine the boy would have already been at a thousand some yards, probably almost goes to two thousand and running like man. that. Absolutely. So I mean, we just got to keep up the momentum. But but good game, man. Good game. Good, good, game. Good, game. Good, good, game. good job. So Jacques, so we got three games left. Okay. How do you think we're gonna finish in those three games? So. What I see now compared to prior, this team seems more focused. Okay. They look like they're taking one game at a time, and it's one thing approach I like. These are winnable games, man. They are. These are winnable games. They are. The Giants, you have to be careful because they still have uh, that boy Odell. Yep. They, they got Barkley. Yep. We know how he is. He's going to get his yards. Absolutely. He's going to get his yards. If you can hold him on the 70, you've, done, you, you've accomplished something. Um, Eli is still Eli, but I, I, he's not the Eli of, of old. Right. So we can still beat them. Uh, the Redskins, that's a very winnable game. If we can win that game, they offensively they can't do nothing. They don't have a quarterback. Right. Um, defensively, they they man, they're pretty good on defense, but nothing that we can't we can't run Henry. You that's see what right. I'm saying? That's right. So my thing is these next three games, of course, the Colts. That's the biggest hurdle of this season to me, is that Colts game. That's right. We that's have right. to beat the Colts, man. We have that's to get them jokers for once. That's right. That's and, right. and if we can't get them, it's a failure. Yes, sir. The season right. is a failure. It is. I, I think we can win all three. I know we can win all three. Like I said, why have I been saying all season? The only team that can beat the Titans is the Titans. That's right. Absolutely. And, yes, sir. and if it comes down to it, stay focused. Stay focused. Run your cowbell, which is Derrick Henry. You've been saying this all season. All season. Been saying all season. All season. Run big number 22. Yes, sir. And Marcus has to make smart decisions. In Absolutely. defense, Keep playing, keep play your game. That's right. Uh, That's GBs, right. I would like to see them come up a little bit. Okay. They, they, they play off like 10 yards off, and I'm like that. Let's, let's, let's get the confidence back. Right yes, now, sir. keep your confidence. Go in there knowing you can win, you can win. Absolutely. So next, what we're going to do now, we're going to give the game ball to two players, one on offense and one on defense. I'm going to give you mine, and Jacques is going to give you his as well. So... Of course, come on, y'all. On offense, duh. Derrick Henry, duh. Do I need to say anything else, right? No, I don't think so. Do nope. It. nope. Derrick Henry. All right, offense player of the game, game ball to you, Derrick Henry. Mm -hmm. King Henry, this is for you. On defense, for me, I got Jarrell Casey. He led us in sacks. He had one and a half sacks during the game. Awesome job to Jarrell Casey. Playing the field very well in the middle of the field, man. Again, Leonard Fournette wasn't going nowhere. He had an awful game. He only had like 20 some yards rushing. Jarrell Casey was, was the sheriff in town, man. He shut that down. So kudos to you, 99. Awesome job on defense. My players of the game on offense, like you said, no brainer. Duh. Duh. Like you said, duh. 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 King Henry, 22. Right. Come on, yep. baby. 200 and something you can do. Offense player of the game. Yep. Defensive player of the game. Mines, Rashad Evans. Okay. All right. Rashad Evans actually popped and, 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 and he. He's the one that sparked the 99-yard play by stopping Leonard Fournette. Exactly. On the two-yard line. The swim move. Yep. Tackle him. Rashad Evans is everywhere, dude. He is, man. Everywhere. And like I said, Casey did his thing, but it's, it's, it's refreshing to see another person on defense besides Casey on the defensive line or, or rack pole. Hey, big ups to Evan, man. Absolutely. Big ups to Evan. Yes, so those, are, those are my two players of the game. Good man. deal. Good and, deal. And if I want to get funny about it, I can say, hell, Henry's the player of the, oh, the whole exactly. game. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. He ran, hey, it was Derrick Henry Day yesterday. We should probably call that day. What day? What's the day? December? The, it was the 6th yesterday. 6th. That six. should be Derrick Henry Day, a national holiday, yes, man. Yes, Derrick Henry Day. Absolutely. 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 So next week we have the New York Giants. Uh, which I think is a very viable game for us to win. It could be a trap game. You know, we got to watch for Saquon Barkley and Odell Beckham. But I do think we'll beat the New York Giants. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we will too. Yeah. Like you said, at that rate, hey, watch out for Odell. He's still Odell Beckham. He is, he is. Uh, Barkley, hey, man, that, that young yeah. man, that rookie is a beast. He's a beast. So if you can hold him at least 60, 70 yards, yep. you have done something the NFL has, the, 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 any of that team can't. That's right. They've That's stopped right. Barkley. Right. So, I mean, defensively, no. Yeah. No. So, yeah. yeah. Tighten up, baby. Let's go. Tighten Let's up, go. baby. Let's go. We here. We here all day. Yes, sir. All right. So, that is the show, folks. We want to say thank you again for all of our followers, man, and our subscribers as well at the bottom. You can click subscribe. Click the like button as well. We're on Apple. We're on Google. We're on SoundCloud. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. 
Look, man, just Google Tennessee Titans Weekly, man. You'll see all that, man. Okay. Hey, we appreciate it, man. We're here. We're Titans fans. Yeah. We're yeah. more than just say Titans fans, man. We're analysts for the Titans, man. We do what we do, man. So okay. that's what we do, yeah. man. So tighten up. Tighten up. Let's go. Let's do it. New York, we coming to town. We're going to sing that Frank Sinatra. <laughs> New York, New York. We coming for you. We coming for you. We coming for you. Let's get it, man. Yeah. Let's go.